So Saturday, I came here. I did some work all day. I plowed my uh, parking lot from offices and <sighs> went home. I was planning on working Sunday. The kids they had some Christmas money left over and they wanted to go shopping. I went shopping with my kids. Came back to work yesterday. Worked all day. It was snowing all day. I don't have customer traffic in my office, so <clears throat> I don't really have to worry about cars pulling in and stuff. So I didn't plow. At the end of the day, I, I finally got around to plowing. Went to and where my razor is. And then when I went to open the door, I realized the door wasn't latched, but it's a bad door. I mean, the door really needs adjusted, but we're moving the garage, so I haven't got around to adjusting it. Opened the door, plowed the driveway, did everything, put everything back, shut the door. And then when I was trying to lock the walk-in door, I realized it was broke. At first, I didn't think anything of it, because like I said, it's a crappy, you know, the whole garage is kind of crappy, so. But then as I opened the door, I say that I, I noticed that it was kicked in. The door had been kicked in. I walked around, not a whole lot was missing, but my generator was missing. A rigid Sawzall was brand new. One of my drills was missing. I think there was a ratchet set in there. So, I got robbed. I'm waiting for the police to come out now. I mean, we don't have insurance, but I'm at least going to make a report so that any of this stuff shows up at the pawn shops. I can get some of it back. I don't think it's gonna show up at the pawn shops, but we'll see. So the police just left. I uh, ran to the hardware and got some supplies real quick, and I'm going to fix this door. Something I'd rather not even have to do, but I think I figured out a way without having to buy a new door that I can fix it, and it should be pretty secure. So upset about the place being bro broken into that I bought a six pack of Hop Slam and drank it. <clears throat> Darn it. If anybody knows anything about Hop Slam, I think it's like 11% alcohol. So after six, I was really, really not feeling good. So today, I'm still kind of not feeling good. Look at, got my heated jacket on. In the garage is a post, and the door up against this post, but the post sticks out about three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna lay this on top of the frame, and then I am going to take a two by six and put it on the back side of this. When I lay the two by six on top of this, I think I'm gonna actually lay two of them on top of this. And when I do that, this is gonna hold that entire frame into place as well as the bigger strike plate, a box strike. So basically you screw this into that post that's gonna be that's behind the frame and they have to kick this out of that post, which isn't impossible, but it's gonna make it a lot harder. I'm sure they kicked that door open with one kick by the looks of it. And then I got me some really big um, anchors, not anchors, I don't know what you call these things, thingamajiggers. <laughs> Couldn't find any regular pine, so I had to get select. Uh, I'm afraid that this is going to split when I put the screws into it. I'm gonna pre-drill some holes real quick. Probably should've bought some screws to put this one by in there. I really don't have any screws. You'd think I'd have a million screws in this place since it's such a mess, but I actually use screws so fast, I can't keep them in stock. So, I gotta scrounge through this place, see if I can find some stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Done. Watch this, ready? Done. So I'm gonna put this two by six, lay it along that post right there. I'm gonna go cut it. It's pretty cold. I think it's like 11 degrees today. I got this heated hoodie. <laughs> I got a heated hoodie on. It's electric. And I really don't need much more than that. And tag this. Thought I was gonna have to go back to the store and get freaking Bit, but I got one. Seriously? Be right back. So that's on there pretty secure. So this bolt plate will go in here. That'll make it quite a bit more secure. I gotta do that plate real quick. Probably gonna do that off camera because. Ah! That was a router. Welcome to the future. I mean, kinda. It's just next day, same vlog. I ended up fixing the door and then I ended up just going home. Today, I'm gonna do a little dog training. I got the puppy here with me. He's sleeping right now, so I'm not gonna wake him up. 
while he is sleeping, I am going to work on this room. What this room is, is this used to be the music brackets room, which was my old website that I used to have. Now it's gonna be part of my wife's boutique. So we're gonna have an online boutique mostly for her store, it's gonna be appointment only. So we have lots of uh, Matilda Jane clothes and name brand purses and lots of different things that we plan on getting rid of before we move to Hawaii, which we still plan on doing. It's probably gonna take longer than we want, but things are slowly coming together. I'm gonna get this room done and get some shelves up in here today. I have two clothes hangers I need to bring up here and put up here, and then we need to inventory. And we're gonna start a website and we're gonna put all this stuff on the website. So if you know anybody that really likes children's clothes and is really into like Matilda Jane and boutique style clothing, we have tons and tons of it. I'll put the link in this video once we get the link up. It's probably not gonna be up by the time I put this video up, but you can always come back and I'll put it in future links as well. So those are the wrong size. Those holes, rods, whatever. I went by the size that they had at the store. It's not the right size. Sit. Good. Here. Right. Ready? Left. Sit. Sit. Good. Uh, as you can see, we got his ears cropped. I really don't care if I get a bunch of flag for it because he's a Doberman. I want him to look like a Doberman and Batman at the same time. Speak. Watch him. Oh. Oh. Growl. Hey, look, sit. Right. If I wanted to teach him to, to growl and to speak, the problem is, is he never growls or speaks ever. So he's like a really quiet dog. He never growls or he never, you know, he never does anything where I can teach him to speak or anything like that on his own. So it's hard for me to teach him the command when he won't even do it. I'm not gonna like beat him to get him to bark at me. But the only time he ever barks is when our Yorkie's around. And the only reason he's barking is because my Yorkie's all up in his face barking. Some advice, if anybody knows how to get him to speak, um, please let me know. But he just, he does not bark on his own. Uh, I've heard him bark maybe three or four times. So, but he's, he's a really good puppy. He, he has one in the house for me. Um, oh, look at you spinning. Right? So you need to know, you need to know right and left. Smile. Oh, look at that face. I want to make sure that he's being alert. You know, when, when neighbors are coming around and strangers and so on. I mean, he's just, he's like quiet. Yeah, look at you spinning, you're really hungry. I missed the stud here, and then over here I missed the stud as well, but there's gonna be a shelf that goes along here, so you're not even gonna see those. This isn't an exterior wall, so it's not holding out the cold air or anything like that. And then I'll just end up patching all these walls when we move out of this building anyway, so I'm not gonna do all the extra work now and patch these walls before we sell the place. So now, Pretty much has to be perfect um, because I'm going to have these shelves about up to each other and I need them to be as good as possible. So I'm, I'm literally on my knees just to show you this, but I got all the brackets up. The room is cleaned out. I'll make those shelves tomorrow. I'll bring those up, put them together. DeAndre's gonna be here helping me. So that should make it a little bit easier. Uh, he's gonna start working weekends with me so we can get this place done as well as we can get the, um, get the house done. So we're gonna get this done, the plumbing done, downstairs done, the house done. We're all gonna, we're gonna get it all done. I'm gonna get it all done this year. 2018, it's the year, it's the year. It's really echoing in here, sorry. I think I'm pretty close to the microphone, but 
It's still really echoey in here. Once we get all closed in here, it'll be really nice and non echo echoey. It'll be, uh, once we get all the clothes in here, it'll be really nice and non echoey. Is that a word? I had some rain damage before we fixed the roof. Uh, we had a leak and the rain damage destroyed like my awesome paint job, which you can't really see the paint job anyways. It doesn't show up on camera, but I made my wall look like stainless steel and it looks really cool. And now there's a big old river bubble running through it where the water came through and then my ceiling I have to patch up too. So I gotta do that. I'll show you that tomorrow. Actually, we're gonna skip right there to it. Ready? Three, two, one. This is what I gotta fix. Partly today, we had a leak in our roof. The roof leak is fixed. So now I gotta fix these little things here with my drywall expertise. I got the, the rods going across. Yeah, that doesn't work because my fingers, my arm's not long enough. But yeah, you see the, you see the rod. So I was gonna make the shelves originally. I was gonna make them. Then I decided that it was it's not too much work to make the shelves, but I feel like the wood is too good a wood. It's really nice old oak. I mean, it's old. So I didn't want to use it. I was figured I'd use it for the house and so on. And I went to Menards and I went to Home Depot and I was just gonna buy poplar because oak is really expensive in in those stores. And even with the poplar, it is almost three hundred dollars to build these shelves. So. Now I'm back to building the shelves. I got into my kiln and started pulling out lumber. This is what I built my floor to my office out of, is this wood here. So this is what's left. It was a mixture of white oak, uh, red oak, and ash. The other thing too is when I went to the store, uh, the, the metal brackets to hold the shelves up, those are exactly 11 and, th 11 and a quarter. So when I went to the store, I was measuring the poplar, which are also exactly 11 and a quarter. So, I didn't like that because I want the wood to stick out a little bit past the shell, uh, past the brackets. So that's the other thing is I'm making all these 11 and a half. I wouldn't be able to done that with the poplar unless I did the same thing I'm doing with the oak. The oak is generally free. I got to do all the gluing anyway, so I might as well use the good wood. All right, so here's one piece that we did yesterday and this morning. So that board there, when you combine those two boards together, they're right at 11 and 3 eighths. It'll be an eighth of an inch over the brackets. So that's good enough for me. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that, glue those together, and I'm gonna make one more, and then I'll be going home for the night. I'm not gonna sit here for four hours and watch the glue dry. So this wood here is rough sawn, and then this has already been planed. So there's a little bit of a difference. Even with that little bit of difference, I mean, they'll still glue the same. And then when I run it through the planer tomorrow, that entire board will be the same thickness. If I plane it now, it's just an extra step I really don't need to take. It's kind of pointless. I don't really like running glue through my planer, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Once again, it's a time factor for me. It's, it's more of a time factor than perfection. When it comes to gluing, it's real simple. You don't need to do any screws or nails or anything like that. I don't want to do any nails or screws anyways because I'm gonna plane this wood afterwards. And if I plane it afterwards, uh, we will have problems with my planer. I mean, this is all I've ever done. I haven't had any furniture fall apart. That was a little bit too thick. Put it on, slap them together, and then I clamp them down and I just adjust them as I'm clamping. What I do is, as I'm going down the board, I just clamp it down like this. Squeeze them as close together as I can, get them as flush as I can, and then I just keep moving my way down the board. Woodworking people that are watching this video already know that I'm doing something wrong. I don't really care. because I'm still making my own stuff. That's all I really care about. So as, as you see, as I'm going down this board, I'm, I'm slowly making adjustments. I get a little snug, make the adjustment, and then tighten it down as far as I can get it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because once it goes through the planer, this is gonna lose probably in close to an eighth of an inch. This is about a one inch piece I'm gonna do a little bit thicker and a quarter inch. That is it for today. I will be back tomorrow-ish. I'll be back tomorrow. All these vlogs are gonna go up real close in time because this is kind of a big surprise for my wife. And she's been wanting to do this store for a while, but she hasn't really had the time to put the effort into the building the store. And I know she's not gonna be 100% happy with the layout and all that stuff, but it just needs to get done. We're getting it done. The other thing too is I need to buy some chalk paint for these. I'm gonna get rid of 
the whiteboard and just put chalk, chalk's razor to clean. This stuff has been on here a very long time. It doesn't come off very easy. So I'm gonna repaint it with chalkboard paint. With the chalkboard, I can literally wipe it down and be done. See you on the next vlog. That's like three or four days of vlogs, all in one vlog on this one. So I'm gonna cut this vlog to the end. I'll probably combine the next three days for the next vlog because it's still gonna be a couple days of getting this done. Anyway, thanks for watching. I need, a, I need some thumbs ups. I'm really trying to get, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I like doing this, this is fun for me. I really appreciate you guys watching. To all my subscribers, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, turn on the notifications. I don't know, everybody says to do that. I would love to get some more likes on these videos. Um, I will see you on the next vlog.